well it's that old saying you start off just kind of looking at making a drink holder and things kind of got out of hand over here well I guess I'm gonna be making a big ass drink holder cool thing about it is I found the original paperwork the bill sheet well this is the plan I'm gonna take this seat try to make it look like this seat first thing I have to do is gonna be cut this little chit chit off which shouldn't be too hard to do We'll see what happens. All right. As you can see, I got the frame tore down. That didn't take me long. Probably about five minutes to remove everything. Remove the bottom from the top. A few bolts. So, this is what I got to cut off. And then I just have to cut the foam and modify the cushion a little bit. The material to wrap around it. Alrighty, got the frame cut, got the piece I don't need anymore off, kind of cleaned it up, painted it up, now basically we have it just a bucket seat, now time to work on the cushion. Alright, now that I got the foam cut off, I can remove this, and what I did is I unseamed where the material was and what I'll do is I'll fold that over and sew here and remove one of these and attach it here and it should give me a nice little seam and hold the whole seat together alrighty well I got the seat wrap now you can see the base is all together I'm just doing a little modification on the top and I'm going to put it back together. Alright, well we got the seat back together, put it back in the truck so I can check my fit. Now I got room to build me a custom console. Don't have that little extension on the seat to mess with me. I got true buckets and the seat covers are a little old, they're a little worn out, and I could always go to a parts store and get me a couple of little covers now because they'll fit on both seats. And uh, actually dress them up for probably about 40, 50 bucks. And now the next thing is to build me a console with a cup holder. That's how this all started. Alrighty, thank you for watching.